this video we're going to see how to simplify radical expressions and it's going to be very similar to what we did with simplifying the polynomial expressions where we distribute and combine like terms and make sure if you have terms within parentheses that are raised to exponents that you do write those out as products first um, in this first example there are no parentheses terms that uh, have an exponent so no products to write out there and we can actually start with step two which is to distribute so we're going to distribute this cube root of 2x by multiplying it with the one and with the negative cube root of x to the fifth inside So we do cube root of 2x times 1, we get cube root of 2x. And when we do cube root of 2x times the negative cube root of x to the fifth, we get those two multiplied together. And this uh, minus 3 times the cube root of 2x to the sixth is still there. Now when we have two radicals that are the same degree, for instance two cube roots, and they're being multiplied, we can actually bring all that under one roof, so to speak. We can multiply the radicands. So we can take this 2x and then multiply by the x to the fifth and x times x to the fifth is just x to the sixth. So that shows the rule for multiplying and the same goes for dividing with radicals. If they have the same index, right, to both square roots, both cube roots, then you can take those radicands and you can multiply them or divide them within the single radical. Right. Now for adding and subtracting, when we have the same radical altogether, that's the same index and same radicand, then we can add and subtract those as like radicals. For instance, here we have cube root of 2x to the 6th, and here we also have cube root of 2x to the 6th. And so it's a negative 1 and a negative 3 give us a negative 4 cube root 2x to the 6th. And that actually is the third step technically. So that's the combining like terms. We, we distributed well we distributed here with the cube root of 2 to the x and then the second part was the combining of like terms. That's step 3. Right. At the very end we can't combine these two. Why? They are both cube roots but you'll see the radicands are different. This is just a 2x, this is a 2x to the 6th. So you that subtle difference, you can't actually combine those two. And we'll just leave it like that. We've got one more example to look at. Here we have x minus square root of 3x minus 1, all squared. This is what I was talking about with writing these out as products. All right, because that square means we need to multiply multiply that by itself. Now when we're distributing we need to go ahead and foil this or you can distribute it one at a time. So we have this whole x minus square root of 3x minus 1 times x and then times 
the square root of 3x minus 1. So we took that first term in parentheses and we distributed it to the x and got this. And then we distributed it to the square root of 3x minus 1 and we got that. All right, now we need to distribute two more times. So we're going to now distribute this, this x here. x times x. And that'll give us an x squared. And then x times the square root of 3x minus 1 is x times square root of 3x minus 1. And at that point, we have cleared the parentheses. So we don't need the parentheses there anymore. All right, now we do the same thing with the radical over here, the square root of 3x minus 1. We're going to multiply that with the x, and then we're going to multiply that with the other square root of 3x minus 1. All right, so we we'll multiply with the x, we'll have x, and then square root of 3x minus 1. And for the last part, we're multiplying the square root of 3x minus 1 with square root of 3x minus 1. All right, so you basically have square root of 3x minus 1 squared. And since the square and the square root cancel, that's going to just be 3x minus 1. Let's go ahead and show that, though. All right, technically, that's square root of 3x minus 1 squared. And it is positive because you have the negative here and the negative there, right in front. So those two negatives make it positive. All right, well, since the square and the square root sort of cancel out, this is just 3x minus 1. So that's what we have after distributing. Now there is some combining to do because these two terms in the middle are like terms. They're actually the same term, so they're definitely like terms. Um, the, the number in front of the x could be different on those, but what you needed was you needed the variable part to be the same, and uh, that includes this radical. So the variables are both x, and the radicals are both square roots, and radicands are both 3x minus 1. Since we have two of those, let's put a 2 there, it's negative 1 plus negative 1 gives you negative 2. Uh, the others aren't like terms. We have x squared, x, and a constant. So that's it. Fully simplified.